This is a project uh, I did documentary on nine years ago at Burning Man uh, with a crew involving James Dean and Ron Simmer as well as some other people there. So Ron has uh, decided that he wanted to redo the wave and recreate it uh, as part of his revision, the art recycling project that he's involved with right now. So what you have behind me is a reconstruction of the wave that we had done on the Black Rock Playa. So this is kind of a sequel video to that and I uh, wanted to vlog the whole thing and talk to some of the people involved and see why the hell they're still doing this 10 years later. Well, almost 10 years later, nine years later. So, so, so you, you were heavily involved in the, the original wave in 2012, I think a bunch of us, including you and uh, Jimmy Dean and a whole bunch of us, uh, raised, our, raised the money to take, a, take this, uh, the wave to, to the Burning Man. Essentially, we found a whole bunch of beach, beach lumber, scrap lumber, and uh, we took it across the U.S. border and assembled it and, uh, Black Rock, Nevada, and uh, burned it three days later. It was a, a huge sort of uh, effort to highlight ocean pollution. And uh, as, as you know, it was all self-funded. We, we raised money through our friends and family and all that kind of thing. So here, in this this day, we we're kind of replicating the wave, uh, uh, re referencing the original wave, and uh, the theme again is is, uh, is zero waste. We're trying to uh, encourage people to you know re re reuse and look at zero waste in their everyday life. We found all this scrap wood locally, and most of it supplied by uh, the P and E, I guess. Uh, and, uh, so we, we assembled it all, and it's, it's uh, your breaking wave again. It, it's much different from the original wave, but uh, the original wave was mainly driftwood. And this is mainly just sort of scraps left over from uh, the industrial uh, processes. Not quite sure what they made it from this time, or where they sourced the wood. Last time, it was uh, the tsunami debris from the Fukushima Dam. Uh, in the tsunami in Japan that happened in 2012 when all of the all the wood washed up on the North American coastline so the stuff they took down to Burning Man was slightly irradiated nuclear followed so I'm surprised giant atomic sea monsters didn't come out of the wave last time but uh, hey atomic sea monsters might still come out of the wave this time around too one can only hope we made this one have more more motion more fluidness here I'll show you sure. So the one on the desert didn't have this big dip in and curl out on the back. It was more of just sort of like, it kind of all came out, went up. So this, this waving motion on top of this waving motion is really accentuating it. And also, the curl is way more accentuated inside here. Like this is way, way better. The, the one at, at Burning Man just had a curl at one end and the other end was kind of open. What are you working on here, Carly? Oh, foam. Foam? Yes. Just trying to finish the edges up with a little, little crust of foam. Why is it frothy? Uh, so it's like the sea foam of the edge of the wave. So you weren't able to do that last time? Uh, no, we just didn't have the idea. The the famous painting, The Great Wave Kawanga, yeah. by um, Kakosai. Kakosai. Uh, it has a lot of froth, it has a lot of sea foam. And the original Breaking Wave from Burning Man, we didn't really have a lot of color in painted pieces. With this one, we managed to scavenge a lot of signs, a lot of signage from old uh, peonies, like from previous years of peonies. And so most of it were painted, some were vinyl covered, and we just chopped them up. And white's a very common color, either on the back of a sign or the front of a sign. And so making into little bits and putting it on the edges. Yeah, this project's a little bit differently because uh we don't have a whole bunch of uh, ugly, smelly, naked hippies crawling all over it. Well, not yet. I mean, the night is young. We'll see what happens. So the thing uh, that attracted me to this project when I first heard of it was, to be absolutely honest with you, it wasn't the environmental message. That didn't really resonate well with me because I saw the pictures of it 
and I saw the floor plans of it and I thought, eh, this thing just looks like a big pile of sticks. What really attracted to me about this project was the artists themselves and the people involved in the project and the, uh, the passion that they had for creating this thing and for, you know, putting in the long hours and working under the shittiest of conditions to create a piece of art. That, to me, that was always the uh, beauty of these projects. It wasn't the piece itself, it was the process. And the, uh, and the compassion and the passion that, uh, and the drive and dedication that the uh, artists had to create something beautiful, to create something uh, that other people would like. To me, that was always what the uh, Breaking Away project was. So uh, I, I knew that if we broadcast the, the, this, what we're going to do, we get a lot of uh, Burning Man friends and people who would, uh, would gladly contribute, volunteer their time. You know? So I, I knew that a lot of people would volunteer to help, and there has been a pretty substantial number of people volunteering to help us do this. So, J Jimmy Dean, of course, we all know is the is the architect of this thing, one of the plan planet. It. It's his it's his vision, really, you know. So I, I just stand around and sort of pull the strings, I guess. We just made a little Facebook group and we've been putting a call out on social media for people to come and there's been all sorts of randoms that I don't know that are kind of associated with the Burner Sphere or Ron. Uh, you know, he's got a big network, that old guy. Um, yeah, so it's been neat and inter interesting meeting a bunch of new people. You know Ron, he asked for help. And I love helping Ron build his ship. He's the most prolific mm -hmm. artist in Vancouver, I think. Oh yeah? He's constantly building shit. He's like 68 or something like that. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is Superman Jordan here. Okay, um, come on. Yeah, he's uh, been a super hard worker. Holy crap, look at what he's done today. That is amazing looking, man. Amazing. Just like, just screw. Just screw. I just screw. Just screw. How through Ron and, and James, we've worked on a couple projects together now and um, they told me about this and I was really excited about it. I've always loved that painting. So I, I found out about that previous project as well and I thought it was beautiful. I didn't get a chance to see it myself on Playa, but to be able to be part of creating the second one was really exciting to me. So I wanted to hop on board and help out. And I love sculpting with reclaimed pieces of wood. And, uh, it's always amazing how all these little things fit together and create something, create a wonderful shape. And we've got a good curve going on, just need a surfer in there. What are you doing up there? Nothing much really, I just kind of pretend I know what I'm doing. What are you making? Um, whatever you tell me buddy, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you tell me. What a team player. <laughs> okay, everybody's watching, this is the best part. You want to check out the bottom left, smooth part of the way. Yeah, this is, this is, no way it And it goes on that. <laughs> I am helping to build the wave. Why are you doing that? Uh, it's a piece of artwork from Simmer, reclaimed wood and about our oceans. Right. It's a partnership with Metro Van right. out here at the PE. Nice. Right. And, uh, you were part of the original. What brought you on this one? I was one? not. I uh, married Jody, and who's a very good friend with Ron, and is often doing weird things, weird art projects. And I thought I'd come out here on this beautiful day and help out. So, is this your first wave? This is my first wave. And are we, have we been gentle and a gracious lover? <laughs> well, the first day was pouring rain, so the second day is much better. Oh, putting a bunch of little shit on the back to finish it off. Calling it good. Yeah? The wave's breaking. The wave is breaking? I was just saw him right, putting a project. casting call yeah. out for building this installation. Mm -hmm. It's always been a dream of mine to like, you know, work with Burning Man installation. So he says, hey Ron, can you help me? I mean, can I work with you? And he said, yeah, sure. Yeah. I love to make beautiful art. And it's coming together. Great team, great day. And I love waves.